Hello everyone! Welcome to this Sims 3 house design video. So today I am here in Plymouth Isle yet again. This time I'm building on lot number 33, which is right next door to the previous house, and this house actually finalizes the town center. It's the last house and I'm building the town center. And yeah, like I mentioned, this is on lot number 33. So if you want to download the house, you can. There'll be a link in the description below, so you can go uh, there and download the house if you want. And yeah, so Plymouth Isle is a world that I created completely from scratch. You know, if you haven't seen any of the videos in this kind of series, um, you can check that out on my channel. I have a series uh, where I created the world and then I've been making all the houses for it as well. So yeah, you can uh, watch those on my channel. This is one of the last few houses that I have left to do in the world. Uh, so this house ends up having, oh, I'm trying to remember, I think it's four bedrooms and four bathrooms, I think, or maybe it's three and a half bathrooms, um, I believe. I'm not entirely sure because I actually built this house a week ago, like a week before I'm recording this voiceover. So yeah, I'm not, I don't hundred percent remember all the details about the house, like the price. I think the price is under 200,000 simoleons though, uh, from what I can remember. So yeah, basically that's what I can tell you about it. But yeah, it's a nice house. I called it Tower House because it has these two towers, as you can see, and it's built quite high up on a hill. So it has two stories and then a uh, walkout basement. So yeah, the walkout basement is quite above street level. So there's like a driveway that kind of goes up towards the garage. So instead of the garage, I think I kind of said that funny, but um, yeah, basically instead of like the last house, which I did, which you can see is next door, I, where I kind of like built this like, uh, you know, terrace uh, out of like foundation or walls and had the garage underneath, I decided since this house um, has, like, I think even a, a steeper lot than the other one, I decided to build it just up on the hill. So it does mean that there's quite a journey to take to get into the house because you have to walk up the driveway and then there's like the, all the stairs up to the front door. But you know, it is what it is, but I quite like it. And I also got in the same stone wall that the house next door has. So it kind of looks like it's continuing. You can see how ridiculous the stairs looked. If I just <laughs> put one staircase that went like all the way down from the front porch to the street. So instead of doing that, I also didn't do that either. What I ended up doing was having the stairs come down that way. And you can still see it's a lot of steps. So like that's, that's the stairs right there. So still a lot of stairs. And then I kind of made this like sloping, you know, like walkway that goes uh, over to the driveway. And then I have a retaining wall there as well. So that's kind of how I worked out the front yard. You know, it's kind of interesting, but I kind of like it. You know, it's a little bit different. So yeah, still a journey though to get up to the house. But yeah, um, right now I'm just, you know, fixing up that retaining wall, kind of making uh, making it kind of, you know, follow the terrain, I guess. So it kind of looks nice and that, you know, makes it kind of look less like, uh, I don't know, like imposing, I suppose. But anyway, yeah, so that's kind of the front stairs there. And then for the front porch, I end up tweaking it a little bit because right now I have it where like the column would like go down right into the driveway. So I do end up tweaking it because it's a little weird. Also, as you can see, it was such a steep hill that the columns didn't even reach the porch, of course. So I ended up using foundation for the columns there, which you'll see in a little bit. But anyway, here I'm getting the front walkway in. So yeah, the front walkway kind of goes up from the driveway and then kind of around the stairs there, or go up the stairs, around the corner, up some more stairs. And yeah, here I'm just clearing up some of the inside, but essentially inside you kind of enter in the game is glitching out there. You enter in and then you have like this little front room that I basically put a piano in and then there's going to be the stairs and you can see, you probably have noticed the game is, uh, you know, acting up a little bit. It's kind of, it was kind of lagging on me. But yeah, essentially that room where the stairs is, is the living room. And then there's a bedroom in the front there with an ensuite bathroom. And then the master bedroom is what I just put in right now, also with an ensuite bathroom. And there's two more bedrooms and those share uh, one bathroom. So every single bedroom has an ensuite bathroom technically. It's just, you know, those two bedrooms share one. And then the other two have their own bathrooms. And I believe there's a half bathroom on the first floor. So that gives you your four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. And here I'm just, uh, you know, adding, just tweaking some stuff there. I moved the fireplace for the living room and then getting some furniture in the bedrooms. So you can kind of tell which rooms are the bedrooms now. And then on the first floor, of course, you have your kitchen in the front and then the dining room's behind it. And then the back is a study. So that's kind of the layout for the inside of the house. So it's a, it's a good sized house. It's quite large. But anyway, here just getting in some trees 
and stuff just around the outside. I wanted to just get some of that and I don't know, I like putting in the trees. So yeah, I got a couple of trees there on either side of the driveway, you know, looks nice. And I think here is where I'm gonna start, yeah, here's where I start fixing up the front. So I get in these columns, which essentially, you know, look like they're supporting the front porch. And then I had to obviously tweak it a little bit just so the columns weren't, you know, going over the driveway, which is kind of not great. So yeah, and here just adding in a different porch roof, but that's what it ends up looking like pretty much. And then I get in the columns here. So yeah, and just removing all the weird roof thingies and getting in some windows now. Let's see which windows I end up going with. I'm not entirely sure which ones. I don't entirely remember. I think I used the ones from the Now and Then Century Manor set, or maybe I don't. Either those are the Ambitions ones. I guess we'll see in a second. As you can tell, I had I took some time deciding myself. Oh, it looks like the Ambitions ones. Very nice. So yeah, the um, windows are from, or at least those windows are from Ambitions, and then I have like some base game windows further up. Also, the front door is base game as well. I like that front door. So I have that in there, and then just recoloring those windows. And then I get a different door over there. That's the supernatural door I like to use. Yeah, and then I just got some windows around. I actually do make the second tower a little bit smaller because I want there to be some level of hierarchy. I want the, the front one to be larger and then the other one to be a little smaller. But there's another window there. So I got some of these other windows kind of around uh, the areas where the other kinds didn't fit. But yeah, just getting some windows and windows and more windows. You can kind of see what's happening here. So getting some windows there around the side and then also around the back here as well. So this room I'm putting windows on right now will be the study. Also got a door there that's gonna lead out to a little back porch, which I ended up putting, or actually was the, I'm trying to remember which, I think, yeah, this one is the one that has a trellis. For some reason I was thinking the last house had a trellis, though it didn't, it had a sunroom. This house has a trellis over the back porch, so that's pretty cool. So you'll see that. And as you can see, the terrain is kind of funky. I ended up just smoothing it out. So there's kind of like a hill that kind of goes around the back there. Uh, but it was kind of the easiest way to kind of deal with it and kind of make it work well. But anyway, here I'm coming in with the fireplaces. So there you got your fireplace for your living room, a fireplace for the master bedroom, and a fireplace for the study. So all those rooms have fireplaces, which I thought was good. And here I'm just getting some more windows on these um, towers and recoloring the columns now and also the railing for the uh, porch there so that's nice so that's all recolored and then also getting like a little bit of trim on that retaining wall there and then also on our tree so there you go and what else let's see some railings recoloring those and we're gonna move inside maybe let's see what we're gonna do here um yeah, I think I'm gonna get some of the doors and stuff. So yeah, there I just got in some archways. So uh, kind of going from room to room, that's the study right there where I just put the archway to. And then also a door over here for the half bathroom. And upstairs, just lots of doors basically that go to all the different rooms as well. So just kind of going around and getting all of that in. And then also in the basement, the basement basically just has a bonus room, a garage and the laundry room. So that's basically what's uh, in the basement. But anyway, got the porch on there as well. Also getting in some stone here I went with the stone from pets, I believe. So I got that in. And then here's the kitchen layout that I'm just getting in right now. So yeah, the kitchen kind of has a door that goes off to the front porch as well, which I think is kind of nice. And then this here is the dining room. So you can see it's a nice size right off the kitchen as well. Kind of like you have to go into the living room, then into the dining room, but it's fine. And then here's the living room. So you got your fireplace. There's also like a nice uh, window there or like a little array of windows, I guess. Kind of like a bay window, but not really. Uh, you know what I mean? And then here's the master bathroom. So getting in a clawfoot tub, which I kind of put on a diagonal, which is kind of fun, I guess, because I wanted it to like, you know, look fancy. So I put it on a diagonal there. And then, you know, got your double sinks. That's the ensuite bathroom for that guest room. And then this is the bathroom here that's shared between the last two bedrooms. And then over here is the half bathroom on the first floor. So yeah, and then I'm just getting some stairs for the back porch here. Also some columns and I end up putting it on a trellis too. And I end up putting some nice like little plants on, on top at the end. So it looks very cool. But anyway, yeah, you have a nice little trellis there over the back porch. I thought that kind of added a nice bit of, you know, decor decoration uh, for the backyard. But anyway, getting in the garage door there. So there it is, looks good. And with some more stone kind of around for the foundation and stuff as well. And as for the outside colors, I ended up going with white siding or like the off-white siding for most of the house. And initially I thought, you know, let's, let's make it fun. So I put orange, um, orange like wood siding on the towers. And 
I really wasn't a fan of it. I left it that way almost the whole time I was building it. And then near the end, I changed my mind because I really didn't like how it was looking. So I ended up making it kind of more of like a wood look instead of like, you know, the orange. So, I mean, you'll see what I mean uh, once I get to that part. But, you know, I don't leave it orange in the end, even though it kind of stays that way for a lot of the video. But anyway... The main part of the house, though, was the white siding, which you can see I'm doing right now, and kind of getting that uh, over the whole house here. So there you go. It's the whole first floor there covered. And now we're going to do the second floor uh, for the most part. So going around here, getting that on as well. So, you know, very simple uh, white siding, you know, nothing too crazy here. But, you know, it's my favorite siding that I use for ambitions. Yeah, and here's where I thought I would go a little crazy with the color. So I did not end up keeping it orange though. So yeah, cause like right now that color kind of works. And I think that's somewhat like what it ends up being like is something more like what it is right now, you know, like more of like a wooden kind of color, which, you know, like that looks pretty good. And then I went with the orange. So, you know, I think that went too far. I mean, maybe some of you will like it, but I personally didn't like it. I didn't think it really fit in too well with the world. And like just the town center, just the vibe just didn't fit right. So yeah, I didn't keep the orange. But anyway, here I am. Oh, I don't know what's happening there. Oh yeah, I was adding a little bit of a roof there because I wanted uh, that to look nicer. But anyway, yeah, so just, you know, doing all that stuff. Oh yeah, I got shutters on some of the windows too. That's right, I forgot about that. So all those single windows have shutters on them. So that kind of adds a little bit of extra detail, I suppose. But yeah, there you go. So that's that, um, that's the orange. Anyway, I think the first room that I do on the inside is the kitchen. So it looks like that's what we're heading over to do now. So yeah, the kitchen ends up, I don't even remember what the color scheme ends up looking like. I guess we'll see, you know, we'll find out together. I went with that tile though. I think it's more of a gray sort of vibe. So I guess we'll see here. It looks like I'm going for gray and then blue, blue, kind of, or it's like a bluish gray wall color. So yeah, there you go. And I got a nice light there as well, which I will recolor, I'm sure. Oh, marble countertops. That's very nice too, with kind of like a nice white um, wood cabinets and stuff like that. Got your my dishwasher in there. And I'm probably going to recolor the appliances a little bit, I guess. Oh, they say I have them stainless steel though. So that's nice. Usually I kind of go with like a white or black for like these older kind of houses, but I want stainless steel appliances for this one. So it's a little classier. And what's happening here? Uh, looking for the flooring. I think I went with that one and then I adjusted it a little bit because I didn't really want to look quite like that, but went through and picked a different stone there. So it's not green, it's kind of just white and gray. And that's the flooring and also recoloring the light and then getting all the details, you know, of course, it's always good to have. So, you know, getting in like um, just some various things in the countertops. And I also got in this like uh, dining table. I think that's from Fastlane stuff I like to use sometimes. It's like a center island. So I've got that in there as well, which I thought looks nice. I kind of wish it was taller, like island height or counter height, but I just like, I kind of like it. I think it still looks nice. So I got some stuff on that. And oh, I got some shoes over by the front door. That's cool. Also a little thing of uh, fruit on the dining table, but still just kind of coming through here, getting some curtains on these windows over here by the door. So just recoloring those, probably going to be like a white or gray color, I would assume. So I guess we'll see. Yeah, well, an off-white cream kind of color. But anyway, I got those curtains there and I'm probably going to get some blinds as well or some shades over the uh, sink there for those windows. But yeah, I will also get a rug in, of course, but I think that's mostly it for the kitchen um, sort of thing. But yeah, I'm obviously going to get in the floor mat here by the sink. And yeah, I quite like it. It's a very nice, very sophisticated kind of looking kitchen there. And also getting in the flooring here. So I went with parquet wood flooring with the detailing that I like to use in all these kinds of houses. So, you know, very standard for um, these kinds of houses that I build. But yeah, getting in that wood detailing on the floor. Uh, there for the entranceway and also doing it here in the dining room. So just doing that there. And then uh, I'm also going to do it, of course, in like the study as well. So there's the study getting in that flooring there. And I also do it in this front little room right here. And then also I think in the living room too, I do that as well. So I guess we'll see in a second um, what happens there. Yeah. So I get it in the living room too. I think I shifted, shifted over a little bit because it was looking a little funky with like the, uh, you know, just the way the stairs were, like the area in front of the stairs was kind of weird. So I did, I think, shift it over a little bit because it was just, I don't know, it wasn't working super great. Yeah, there we go. So that looks a little bit better. But yeah, 
and I also recoloring the stairs and the railings and also the fireplace, of course, here in the living room. And I think the living room is the next room that I'm going to do, so I guess we'll see how that turns out. But yeah, also going for a very uh, kind of nice fireplace that kind of matches the kitchen a little bit. And here I'm looking for the wallpaper. Let's see. Oh, I used something different this time. I think I still did use the wallpaper with the trim that I've been using in a lot of my houses recently. But for the living room, I want something a little different. This one's from, I believe, University Life. But I got that in. And here just recoloring the couches. I like to use those couches a lot. And if you've watched any of these other house design videos, you probably know that already. But yeah, and also some bookshelves there on either side of the fireplace. Kind of adds a little bit of detail. Makes it a little fancier, I suppose. And I also got in, I believe, a sofa table or something behind the couch, maybe. I guess we'll see. There's also a lamp there in the corner. Also a rug, of course. Kind of shifted everything back a little bit just so the rug wasn't kind of overlapping the fireplace. Uh, you know, I didn't really want the hearth of the fireplace or whatever to kind of be, you know, intersecting with the rug. But yeah, I got the rug in there. I just adjusted the wall color ever so slightly. And getting a bit of art there over the couch, over the love seat. And yeah, so uh, yeah, pretty nice living room. I like it. It's very like, you know, kind of uh, bright because of, like those windows over there, but also very cozy with the fireplace and the bookshelves and everything. So I quite like it. I think it's like a nice space. Um, and it's also relatively open as well to like the staircase and the entrance as well. I also got in this chess table here in the kind of like little like window area. I don't know if it's usable or not though, because I had to use move objects to place it in there. It looks like it should be functional, but you never know. It might not be. You might have to like pull it out from the kind of window nook if you want your Sims to use it, but I just liked how it looked in there. Anyway, here in the entrance area, I'm just kind of getting this like side table here by the door. Also like some shoes there on the floor as well. Also a lamp. You know, just some nice little decorative things. But oh yeah, here's the wall trim that I've been using a lot uh, in my houses recently. I just like it. I don't think I used it as much though in this house as I have in previous ones. But yeah, I used it for this like little front room, which I ended up just using as like a piano room. So it's basically just going to be a piano in there and nothing else really. I mean, it's probably some plants and like some art and stuff but I don't really like it's not like a space that like you're gonna really be living in or anything you know it's just like mostly decorative of course your sims can practice their piano skills though if they want but yeah I got some plants in here as well and a mirror there you go very fancy mirror and probably some piece of art here on this wall just looking for the right thing I got that one in so yeah, I believe that's that room there. Also getting a plant over here in this corner. You can see the yellow horse is here. So no worries, yellow horse is in the living room there. And then for the dining room, I got this uh, another different, um, you know, wood paneling sort of wallpaper trim thing. And I went with like light blue for the dining room. So yeah, just recoloring the seats here for the dining table and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it's a, it's a fairly spacious room, as you can see. It also has another one of those, like, kind of bay window sort of areas, like the living room does, which is nice. So it kind of uh, lets in a lot of light into the room. Also getting some curtains on that, a nice rug, of course. And also, like, a little... Uh, I have a china cabinet in here, and also that, like, little cabinet there as well. Also got a couple extra dining chairs as well. If you can imagine, maybe the table extends or something if you want to seat more people. I don't know. But anyway, that's the dining room. Over here is the study, and this is, you know, where the back door is. So you have to go, like, through the dining room and the study to get through the back door. But anyway, you know, it's a nice room. as a fireplace, uh, you know, just kind of recoloring some of the stuff in here. So it also kind of has a light blue wall, uh, wall coloring as well with a different kind of trim on the walls. But, yeah, I got, like, a wall of bookshelves here, so that's kind of nice. Adds that kind of study vibe to the room. And then recoloring the bookshelves and also the desk there. So you have a nice desk with a computer and also a little phone there. And I got a couple seats in here as well, so it looks like you could have a meeting or something. I don't know. It just looks more formal that way. I kind of like it. And so, yeah, getting in those seats, recoloring them. And I think that's mostly it. I'm going to obviously get in some plants and stuff. A couple more bookshelves there in the back. Some curtains. And uh, yeah, there's a rug as well. So just recoloring the rug. So just doing that. It's kind of went with a color that kind of matched the room, you know. So there you go. And also some nice flowers as well on either side of the fireplace. And I think I also got a couple lights in because it was a little bit dark in the room. So I got some lights there. And yeah. And then the last thing for the first floor is the half bathroom. So that's off the living room here. And I kind of went for like a kind of pinkish color scheme, I guess. I don't know. Again, it's an older house. So I went with more of a dated kind of look for the bathrooms and stuff, you know, as I do. 
Um, so yeah, this bathroom kind of like a slight salmon kind of color to it, like a pink kind of color. And recoloring the mirror there, getting in some stuff on the counter. It is quite a large half bathroom as well, you can see. So, you know, it's a, it's a good size. Uh, recoloring the flooring here, uh, going for, I think, oh, I don't know what color I went with. I guess that color there. And also a rug there as well. So just recoloring that, uh, looking for something, something that would work well. I guess, I don't even know what I selected. Whoop, I think it went with that so yeah anyway you know just getting that stuff in some blinds on the windows or some shades or whatever and yeah so that's your you know that's your half bathroom so anyway getting some stone or some brick rather out on the back porch there also recoloring these stairs here not sure why i'm doing that at this moment in time but i believe we're moving upstairs very soon yeah so right here is the upstairs a landing and it's kind of small but you know it's nice got like a little runner there uh, so that looks nice. Adds a little bit of detail for that uh, upstairs landing. Also a curtain there for that front window as well. And this is the first bedroom I end up tackling. So this is the guest bedroom. And it's also in the tower, in that front tower. So it has a two-story ceiling, which is very cool. So, you know, it's a very grand kind of bedroom, which is good because it's a small room. There's actually no room for a dresser. There's only just the bed and two nightstands. I mean, of course, it's a closet, you know, that your Sims can actually use it. But, you know, realistically speaking, there is a closet. So there's a place for people to store their clothes. Um, the closet is actually accessed through the bathroom, through the ensuite bathroom, which is kind of interesting. But, yeah, I also got the wall on here. So I use this kind of wallpaper from Pets, I believe. But yeah, it's kind of like a light green off-white sort of color scheme in here. Uh, so just getting the curtains in and then also getting a painting. I actually forgot to put blinds on the upper windows inside the inside the tower until after like I took the screenshots and everything. So you won't see them in the screenshots, but if you download the house, which you can, link in the description, uh, you'll see there's, there's blinds up there. But anyway, this is the ensuite bathroom for this bedroom. So, you know, it's kind of a funky little layout here because you have the closet that's kind of, you know, attached to the bathroom. But yeah, getting in the flooring here, actually we use this kind of like wood flooring, but made stone, uh, use stone texture on it to make like a tile, which I thought looked kind of interesting. I also have like this like river rock or not necessarily river rock, but this rock um, kind of wall look there, which I thought was kind of cool too. I don't know, something a little different, but just getting the towels on here, like a mirror there over the sink and stuff like that. But yeah, that's the ensuite bathroom there for that bedroom and also recoloring the uh, mats on the floors. And then also, of course, I'm going to get the uh, closet readied. So getting the paint in there and then also, you know, getting some clothes in there as well. So yeah, that's pretty much that guest suite. And this is the master suite here. So you have a fireplace in here. I use this bed, which I don't know if I've used this very recently at all. I think it's been a long time since I've used this bed set, which is from Ambitions. But I usually don't use it because I don't like how it's solid on the top. So you like can't see the bed unless you're like at a lower angle. But I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. So I use this bed in here. And the master bedroom kind of has a very like purple, like a very light purple color scheme to it. So as you can already probably tell by the bedspread. And here I'm getting in the kind of wall molding here as well. So just kind of recoloring that and getting that on the walls. Also, you can see a very light kind of purple color there. Also, there's a wardrobe as well. Of course, it's also a closet naturally. And there's a stand-up mirror as well by the wardrobe. Also, some wall lights and some curtains here, which I'm going to make, you know, of course, match the room. And then I also got a bit of a mirror there, I guess, over the fireplace and some plants here. And a rug, of course, you know, getting that in. And also kind of adjusting the color of it to, you know, fit the room. And then this is the uh, closet, of course, that's off the bedroom. So I'm just recoloring that and getting the flooring in, getting the clothes in. But I think that's pretty much it for the bedroom. So I think that's the master bedroom there. And then the master bathroom, of course, has those nice windows, which is very cool. And of course, that clawfoot tub, which I quite like. So yeah, just uh, recoloring some stuff in here, getting in the details, you know, your toilet paper. And of course, I'm getting the towels and everything. But yeah, getting in the walls here, getting the wall color to match. I used, I think, this tile, which I don't usually use very often. But I use that tile there and also getting that in the... Um, what is that? The the shower. And of course, also have an interesting mirror there, which is nice. Anyway, there's your towels uh, on the walls. And of course, getting the flooring here. I went with that flooring, I guess. And yeah, also, of course, a mat there uh, in front of the sinks. But I think that's pretty much it for the master suite. 
So I think we're gonna move on now to the other two bedrooms. So yeah, the other two bedrooms are kind of meant to be kids rooms, teens rooms, that sort of thing. And they share a bathroom that's kind of uh, between the two bedrooms. So right here, I'm just doing this bedroom here. So I got this kind of interesting wallpaper on the walls, which I actually quite like, I think it's kind of fun. So I kind of have these like, this like almost like chevron pattern that's kind of like repeating and getting in that bedspread there, which I think I've used in a previous house. I just quite liked it. I quite like it. So I used it here too. But yeah, there's your bed and also your nightstands there as well. And getting in the lamps as well there on the nightstands and a little alarm clock. There's also a desk in here, which I kind of put a laptop on. So, you know, this person can, uh, you know, use their computer and stuff, kind of work in their room. I got like a pinup board there over the dresser and also just some posters on the walls as well. So kind of just going through, adding all that kind of stuff, also getting in some curtains here. So just recoloring those, kind of just uh, fine tuning the color for those and getting them on. Also a little stand up mirror there. And I also got some decorations in here as well. So like a little lamp there on the desk and like a little thing of pencils, pad of paper, a little plant there in the corner. You know, just getting a variety of things in here and uh, some stuff there. Also a rug, of course. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the bedroom. Also, of course, gonna do the closet here. So just getting uh, that in as well, getting the clothes in there. So yeah, that's that bedroom. And then this bedroom here, I actually adjust it a little bit. I make the closet only a one by one uh, room instead of a two by one room because it was already kind of funky the way that it's like, you know, oriented. And then it was also like taking up valuable space from this very small room. So yeah, this is the smallest bedroom. It's only, uh, th what is that, four? I think it's a four by three room. Uh, so, you know, it's very small, but, you know, it works pretty well. You have your uh, single bed and then your like little dresser, nightstand. Uh, I got some other things in here too, I guess. I don't really remember fully, but, you know, recoloring. There's only one window, unfortunately, right there. Um, but yeah, just adding in a little lamp, alarm clock. I also got some art on the walls as well and stuff like that. And, you know, just kind of going through doing that sort of stuff. I got a poster there over the bed and a little rug, but yeah. So I think that's mostly it for this bedroom. You know, it's, it's not a huge bedroom, it's pretty small, so not too much going on there. But yeah, I do shrink the closet down because it was a little bit, a little bit oversized. Yeah, I got some shelves in here instead of clothes. So, you know, it's kind of more of like a shelf closet instead of like a railing closet. I guess I tra changed that closet a little bit later. But anyway, this is the kind of shared bathroom that's between the two bedrooms. It's kind of funky because it's like in the tower. So it has a two story ceiling and it's like weird little ledge area, which you'll see. But you know, just one of the quirks that happens, you know, when you build a house from the outside in. But anyway, yeah, pretty simple bathroom, um, you know, fairly generic because it kind of is shared by the two bedrooms. So it's not really leaning any which way, but you got your sink, your toilet and your shower in there. Oh, there's where I adjust this bedroom here and make the closet a little bit smaller. And yeah, so a pretty simple bathroom, but I think it works pretty well. And it's nice that all the bedrooms kind of have an ensuite bathroom connected to them. So I thought that was nice too. And here you can see the upper area of the bathroom. That's a little bit weird because, you know, it has like this extra space with like that ledge there that it's not really used for anything. But, you know, it's fine. I put a chain that the light is hanging from. And, you know, it's just a little different. But anyways... We're moving on now to the basement. So the basement's pretty simple. It has, you know, just like this like little area that's kind of a bonus room. I have like these cabinets here and then I put some bookshelves behind there. So it's kind of like this little, uh, you know, built-in area. And I got a ping pong table down here and then also some curtains on the windows in the front and just, yeah, recoloring that. And I also just have like a little sitting area as well as also a stereo there. But yeah, it's basically just like a sitting area in the front area. So, you know, nothing crazy. But yeah, it's a pretty simple basement. It's just, you know, an extra like a little fun bonus space. Of course, it could be used to expand the house as well if you want to add like another bedroom or something down here. I guess you technically could. It'd be a little weird though, but you know, it's doable. There are windows in the front, so that's nice. So it's a bit of natural light in the basement. This is the laundry room. Fairly simple laundry room. You got your washer dryer. It's kind of like a utility sink there and a little mirror over that and like a little towel there. And of course I got a shelf in here and I put some uh, laundry room decorations in. And then here is the garage, which is of course kind of the last uh, room in the house here to do. But yeah, I got your uh, minivan sort of thing in here. And then I also just get the uh, typical things that I put in garages, you know, that I do like from fast lane stuff and things like that. But anyway, getting the uh, wallpaper material in here. So just recoloring that, getting that kind of around the room. And yeah, so fairly simple garage, you know, 
And oh yeah, here's where I recolor the outside of the house here. I really did not like the orange too much anymore. So I was going to do white and I was like, no, that looks really bad. So I kind of went with like this kind of off. I don't even know. It's like this like light colored wood sort of thing. Yeah, I guess that's what I go with there. So I think that looks a little bit better. It's a little bit more bland, you know, it's not like as exciting, but I think it works better with the house. Anyway, back in the garage here is getting in those decorative items and then coloring these areas underneath the house kind of black here, just so, you know, it's not, uh, you know, distracting or anything. It just kind of looks a little bit more finished off, you know, so I just like to do that. So yeah, just doing that right now and the foundation and the columns and stuff you know, kind of going around and doing all that kind of stuff. And also the insides of the chimneys. I did have to uh, fix the chimneys because they were kind of funky. I, you know, the way that the default chimney place is kind of annoying. So I had to tweak it a little bit. So it kind of worked nicely with the way I had the roof. So I'd use a little bit of constrained floor elevation to kind of make that fit nicely. But, you know, not a huge deal. Just doing that right now, just so the chimneys kind of look nice. And yeah, topping them off with a half wall, of course. So there you go. And anyway, also, yeah, recoloring the brick here that I put on the back porch. And I think now basically all that's left is some landscaping. So I'm going to do the landscaping and stuff like that now. So, you know, just some, some of the simple stuff that I usually do with all my houses, you know, uh, making it look, uh, you know, kind of nice and matching with the rest of the world, kind of getting all the trees and stuff around the house. Of course, I'm getting all the bushes and things around as well. So yeah, and then I also got some outdoor lighting, of course. So I was getting some lights, you know, by all the doors and stuff and by the garage and, and things like that around the stairs as well. And by the driveway entrance, also there's the mailbox as well. So recoloring that and also plopping the trash can over there by the garage door and also getting some plants here kind of around, you know, the house. So just the same kind of bushes and things that I usually use kind of coming around the back here as well, the hydrangeas and the what are they, boxwoods and buckhorns and Boston ferns, all that kind of stuff, you know, all those fun plants, I don't, a huckleberry, huckleberry, suckleberry, I don't even know, whatever those green ones from Supernatural are, I use them a lot, oh, we got a blue azalea there, that's fun, mix it up a little bit, I also got this like hedge here, kind of uh, by the garage, and also just some bushes around the front, around the trees, all that kind of stuff, but anyway, we're very near to the end here, so hopefully you stick around for the screenshots, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please consider subscribing, it really uh, would be great. I'd greatly appreciate it. And you can check out, you know, all the other all the other houses that I built for this world on my channel. They're all in a playlist. And you can of course check out the series where I created the world on my channel as well. You can download the house. There'll be a link in the description below. It was built for lot 33. And there'll be a link to a lot map there as well. You can also download the world. There's a link in the description below as well. So if you like the video, make sure to give it a like. And as always, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. But Basically, right before the screenshots here, I'm just going to do the outdoor furniture on the back porch. So just kind of doing those final touches and things like that. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the screenshots and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. See you next time.